there was one devotee by name peri alwar also known as vishnu chittar who took birth in area called as shri valli puttur so he wanted to satisfy the lord with that specific service of every day making various garlands and by decorating the lord with that various flowers and various fragrances so for that purpose he had sold away some property and he had purchased a land near the temple and he transformed the area into a beautiful garden with various types of fragrant flowers and tulsi he used to grow there so every day early in the morning he used to rise he used to finish all his morning duties with that chanting and he finished the garland making then he used to take to the temple and he used to stand and visualize the lord wearing those garlands and he used to enjoy that happiness when he went near the tulsi garden he saw a small baby girl and she was like resplendent her bodily color and everything effulgence were all she was smiling she was so beautiful with every body part was so nicely made so he became fascinated he picked up that girl and he felt that same thing like he was carrying lord krishna baby krishna in his arms so he hugged her and he kissed her and he and his wife enjoyed that happiness of having lord krishna in their home then they started training her growing her so they as, as she started the whole day what she used to do she used to glow uh, and pluck the flowers also she used to help the father in making the garlands and she used to hear about bhagavata katha the past times of lord and she became so much fascinated about the dt dt stories and all she used to only talk to krishna only whole day she is simply talking to krishna so other she used to imagine what is she doing so she is simply imagining like krishna is there in front of him and uh, in front of her and she simply starts talking to him so in that way she was raised so by the consciousness of the father and the daughter so whole day they used to make the garlands they used to go to the temple they used to serve the deity by that garlands and she they used to enjoy that lord wearing that garlands on one particular day as she grew little older her father made a garland and kept it in a basket and went out to do a stroll because it was not at the time for the garland to be offered in the temple he had some time he went around for a walk in the meantime she picked up that garland and she thought how lord looks like and she wore that garland and she stood in front of the mirror and she was seeing how that garland will look like if lord wears upon that garland so when she now she heard that father is coming back she put that garland back into the place there and she went away so that day the periyalwar took the garland and he put in front of the deity and the, the deity was offered that garland that day the lord was smiling there was a bright effulgence around the lord and the entire area was so aromatic everybody was wondering where is this smell coming from this is a divine fragrance the entire area was fascinated and everybody were wondering and he was also thinking it is the same flower same garland what is so special today lord is smiling and there is a divine fragrance from that garland in the entire area he could not understand so this was continued for some days one particular day so when he went to offer the garland he saw there was a hair strand into the garland then he could understand somebody was wearing this garland that's why there was a hair strand into the garland then he went to the daughter and asked have you wore this garland he started scolding her mildly she said see what an offense we have done how can we honor something which which is before being offered to the lord it becomes contaminated so we have done a great offense so then uh, the girl she also tried to justify she said see if lord is there within my heart so i wanted to see how lord feels like that's why i am wearing this garland so in that way she was giving justification but she also understood oh my dear father i'm sorry so he was also feeling very sorry that the first time he had scolded his daughter till then he had not even said one word to his daughter also so he said don't worry tomorrow onwards don't do this so he removed that garland aside and uh, he made a fresh garland
and uh, he again he went and took to the lord when he put that lo- uh, garland to the lord that the lord was not smiling and there was no divine fragrance and he was all confused what happened today why the lord is not smiling why the fragrance is not there so when he came back he was contemplating and uh, he was thinking of too many things he scolded his daughter first day lord is not satisfied what is happening so when he slept in his dream the lord appeared and he said i have sent my internal potency to you so that she can prepare this garlands and wear this garlands and send to me so that i can enjoy the garlands that were worn by her and today you have stopped the thing that's why i did not enjoy please don't scold her anything so please every day make her wear the garland and then send to me i will be able to enjoy and relish the seva of godadevi so next day morning whatever that garland was discarded it was a- so he took that garland and he gave it to the lord and lord became very happy he was smiling at her again that fragrance came back so in that way the, she, they were relishing the seva to the lord he was trying to as a girl grew to the marriageable age he was asking the girl whom she wants to marry she said she wants to marry only the lord then there are lords means so many lords avataras so many lords deities so which lord are you wanted to marry so he explained all the 108 divadeshams so when she heard about ranganatha she became very much attached to that ranganatha deity but she became very much attached to that deity and she said if i am going to marry i am going to marry only lord ranganatha i am not going to marry anybody else and the father thought this is impractical whole life she will be only kumari she will never get married is there anywhere we have seen that a girl becoming married to the deity and he was contemplating how to satisfy the desire of her da- uh, daughter dear daughter so then goda devi she was feeling that she will not be able to marry to or to marry the attraction of lord krishna to bring the attention of lord krishna she engaged in one wow how gopis had worshiped katyayini to attain krishna as her their husband so she also ventured into a system of one month wow to attract the attention of lord so that he could marry her so in that is the process of this 30 verses this is known as tirupavai tirupavai this is a way how to attract the attention of the lord and seek refuge at his lotus feet so in that way after 30 days she offered her prayers lord became satisfied after 30th day the lord inspired periyalwar to bring his daughter in a royal way to srirangam and he inspired the king also through a dream to bring her in a royal palanquin with all the uh, state uh, formalities so the king with all his ministers the chief priest of sri rangam and all the people they came to sri valliputtur they decorated her nicely she is already beautiful they decorated her even more beautiful the entire path was decorated with like a festivity celebrity and there was royal celebrations and royal uh, processions and all the girl was taken to srirangam and when she was stopped in front of the temple uh, the temple she started walking towards the altar she entered into the altar and she merged into the deity of god then periyalwar and his wife started crying they started saying you have given us that only one daughter and you are a thief who took away that one daughter from us and you have given us that joy and you have taken away that joy and whole life will be crying in her association of missing her association 
he was very happy that she had achieved her success but they were very sad they missed their daughter if it have been material daughter at least once in a while every year or something for some festival she will come to the house or when she is pregnant she will come to the house we don't have that opportunity also like that they were missing the association of the daughter they started crying so in the that it is said that in that renunciation of missing their daughter they became very old and they very soon quit their bodies and went back home back to he, he brings his own devotees and he brings his own patients so that devotees also surrender through their example we also should know how we can also approach the lord we cannot independently go to krishna we have to have the association of vaishnavas who are practicing in the process we need the blessings of all the acharyas in the parampara system we need the blessings of all the pure devotees only then we can achieve lord krishna or else it is not possible